we have here? Ah, yes. So I picked one of these up. That happened. I yeah, went down to the art store. They had three options. They had a six inch, an eight inch, a 12 inch. And I was like, you know what? Go big or go home. For artists like ourselves, we use models such as this to create different poses. And then of course, we draw what we see onto paper. We're gonna be using this exact model in the step-by-step -step drawing tutorial that I have for you today. I'm going to be taking you through step-by-step -step, and we're going to be taking uh, the Loomis head, right? We're gonna be applying that on top of our mannequin and then we're gonna be drawing out the torso and the arms and different poses of said mannequin. And the reason why we're going to do that is because we want to get familiar with the principal foundation of drawing human form. We're not worried about fingers, we're not worried about hair, we're not worried about eyes, noses, dimples, ears, any of that. We're simply focusing on proportion from shoulder to elbow, elbow to wrist, direction of hand as it pivots off the wrist, my hand close to you, my face far away from you, right? This is what we are playing with today. So be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and remember, turn on all those notifications so that you never miss when our latest and greatest videos hit the channel here at Messer Creations, okay? All right, grab your little mannequin and let's get drawn. Okay, so I got my handy compass here with my uh, green colored sketch pencil. I'll have links to these tools in the description of this video. We've got our reference photo, so the first thing that we need to do is lay down our circle, which by definition is two-dimensional. And then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do the Loomis head, just like what we've done in previous videos. But of course we have our circle, then we draw in our oval, and then we punch in our vertical and our horizontal axis. So we have our hairline, our brow line, and the bottom of the nose. And then we want to bring out the center of that face. Bring it down about a third, punch in the bottom of our chin right there, and then connect the two. There we are. And then just bring this up, connect it to the circle. And boom, there we go. There's our Loomis head. So then this is where it starts to get a little dicey, but uh, have no fear. I'm just gonna draw in our neck here. And we're gonna follow the line of the shoulder. And this is where you wanna start to use your mannequin and don't be afraid to put in like a little circle, just like this here. And then what I like to do is I like to pull down from the top of that circle, come over, and then up, and then back over where my other circle is going to be for my other shoulder. There we go. Something like that. And then we just got the center of the chest plate there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start from the shoulder. We're going to pull down. And remember guys, what we're doing is we're using the mannequin as, as a model or a basis rather for drawing human form. Now, we're not worried about details. We're not even worried about getting the lines perfect. In actuality, what we're practicing here is proportion, right? Because if you can't figure out your proportions, then it doesn't matter how detailed the drawing is, because looking at it from a biological standpoint, it doesn't add up, right? It doesn't look accurate. So, that's all this lesson is, is this is putting into practice and building your muscle memory up in regards to 
um, proportion, proper proportion. So, but that's all we're doing. We're just going slow. We're taking our time. We're not trying to win any awards here. We're just simply uh, practicing. And one of the things that I like to do is I like to draw what I see. So what you'll find is as you practice this more and more and you simply draw what you see on your mannequin, you'll start to understand what those proportions look like. And then of course, that is the preliminary step that you need to achieve before you can move on and start adding detail, right? Like have fun drawing mannequins, like draw what you see, right? A lot of people, uh, when it comes to drawing human form, they want to run before they can walk and they want to walk before they learn how to crawl. We're crawling right here, that's what this is. <laughs> so. But what we have done is we've been able to understand the Loomis head and now we're applying the Loomis head on top of um, our wooden mannequin. And that's really what building up knowledge on a particular subject like drawing does, right? Is it's these, it's these little steps, if you will. And now what we're doing here is I'm just going ahead and I'm beefing up certain lines in uh, the form of this mannequin just so I can better understand kind of planes and stuff that I'm that I'm working with and you can have fun with this I mean that's I mean there's no right or wrong way to do this I'm just going in and adding a little bit more pressure control here a little heavier pressure control and that gives me a thicker quality to certain lines And of course that helps my form come out uh, thoroughly in this drawing. But you can mess with different line weights and line saturation. Um, you can start to go in and you can start to shade um, the figure as you see the light hitting your reference photo, right? There's lots of different things that you can do. But this is just for you. This is just practice. That's all this is. In my uh, personal sketchbook that I have, I have probably anywhere from 25 to 50 pages of um, this here, of just my mannequin in different poses um, with um, different uh, light points cast on the mannequin so that I can really start to understand exactly how that light is going to affect my mannequins and the poses of the figures that I draw. And you can apply this to all sorts of drawings. You can apply this to realistic portraiture. You can apply this to um, drawing uh, comics and comic book characters because it's principle. You, once you understand principle, you can take that and apply it to uh, whatever you wish. But see, and then just like this here, just do some cross hatching, right? I'm looking at the reference photo and I'm putting this shadow work you know, these lower values in bits and places where they need to go as um, they pertain to the reference photo, right? And this helps me understand form and, and convey it uh, in my drawings. Again, it's not about detail. It's more about just principally understanding the form of my mannequin. You don't need to go overboard with uh, shadow work, but here, like I can, I can shade in the oval on the side of the head, and that elongates the head, and then I can shade in the jawline, the jaw plane, if you will, right? And then all of a sudden, that kind of gives the viewer an understanding of the fact that hey, look, all of a sudden there's some three D aspect to this uh, mannequin drawing, right? It's not all just two dimensional. All right, so now, same song and dance. 
just a slightly different tune here. So different pose. So same thing, a circle, two dimensional. We're gonna put the oval on here. Vertical axis, horizontal axis, hairline, brow line, nose line. Then we're bringing down our front line here, punching in our jaw, connecting it, basically doing exactly what we just did, only instead of our subject looking off to their left, our subject is looking off to the right. So it's just a mirror reflection of what we just did before. There we are. Okay, so there's the Loomis head again. And then we want to punch in our neck. And once we have the neck established coming and extending down from the Loomis head, this is where we can start to pull our line down to the shoulder joint, right? Punch in our circle. And then we want to draw out the arm. Right. And then we have our elbow joint and just do a little circle. Don't be afraid to punch in a circle. Just do it lightly. The initial sketch, the initial outline that you give your mannequin, just do it with an extremely light pressure control. And then kind of like how with the first one where I went back in with a, with a heavier pressure control and built up a lot of that line work, you can do that then, right? Just get a feel for it. That's really what it's all about. Don't be afraid to mess up. Again, this is just practice. That's all this is. It's practice for your masterpieces to come, right? There we go, something like that, right? And one of the things that you're gonna find as you do this exercise and you do it over and over and over again, is all of a sudden it's gonna start becoming second nature, right? You're gonna do the Loomis head, you're gonna punch in the neck, and then you're gonna draw your shoulder lines, and then you're gonna punch in your joint circle, and then you, it's gonna just extend from there. You're not even gonna be thinking about it anymore. You're just gonna do it. And that's one of the things that's really nice about having your own wooden mannequin is that whenever you want to practice a certain uh, position, you can just put your mannequin in that position and then you draw it, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, well, how, you know, however many times you will um, until you're satisfied, until you've built up that memory, right? Drawing and growing in drawing is, is much like, you know, working out, right? If you go to the gym only once or twice a month, you're probably not gonna see any results, but if you go consistently, and you have a regimen and you have different things that you practice, you know, you target specific muscle groups, kind of like with drawing, right? The mannequin, we're, we're practicing different poses and we're doing it consistently. We're, we're going to build up that muscle memory and we're going to expand our knowledge. And on a subconscious level, we are going to be able to accomplish things in the future with very minimal effort as far as our drawings go. So, so now same thing. Now that the majority of this mannequin sketch is done. Now I'm going in and I'm having some fun. I'm just beefing up certain lines. I'm accentuating, you know, like the shoulder, you know, the elbow. And I'm practicing with my line saturation, right? Different line weights convey different angles as far as your viewer's eye is concerned. When they look at something, a lot of times, if you want to promote a sense of heaviness to an arm, you want to have a nice thick line quality on the bottom. And because you are pressing a little harder with your pressure control, your line weight will become darker and more saturated. See something just like that, right? So we're going to play with our line weights. We're going to go back and forth with our line saturation and then what we're going to do is we're going to go through just like we did on the first one and we're going to draw in some low values and we're going to try to bring a little bit of dimension to this mannequin sketch so 
So you do something like that, right? It's almost more like hatching or cross hatching. That's that's really what we're doing. But you can add as much or as uh, little uh, low values as you want. And this is a perfect opportunity for you to also practice pressure control, right? With a lot of the tutorials that I teach, I teach with charcoal, where with these um, colored pencils, it's actually really nice. You know, we can play around with different pressure controls. You know, you, the harder you press with your pressure control, the lower the value is going to be, right? The, the richer that green will be onto the paper, uh, the lighter you press then obviously the lighter the green will be and and this also helps on a subconscious level with um with drawing and pressure control and conveying high and mid and low values all right so here we go why stop at two when you can have three? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So again, just a circle, just a two-dimensional circle. Our subject is more or less kind of looking a little bit more right at us. So we're going to have our two ovals here. Horizontal axis, hairline, brow line, bottom of the nose. Bring that center line down, right? Bring it down, about the same, and then boom. Top of the chin, bottom of the chin, connect the bottom of the chin to the top of the chin, something like that. And pull our cheek plane over and down, over and down, boom. And we got the neck, something like that. There we are. Doesn't have to be perfect. Because again, this is more just habitual, right? Just over and over and over again. Pull that shoulder line down, then you have your shoulder joint. Pull this over, shoulder joint. And when you look at the reference photo here, the mannequin's almost kind of at almost like a three quarter turn, kind of. It's like he's looking at you, but his shoulders are turned. It's not like he's looking completely at us. And this is one of the things that is really, really nice about having a mannequin is you can, you can adjust it. You can, you can change and play around with um, those different angles that you see, right? Just like this. Right, right about here we have our elbow joint. Right, right about there. We have our forearm. Pull that down somewhere right about here. Even though you can't see the hand, I'm just gonna kind of freehand this real quick, something like this, and just to show you how easy it is. And that hand will probably look something like something like that, kind of over and boom. Just kind of laying right along the the body there. And this one's gonna be a little different. There's the back end of the torso, but then here, kind of like with that second form, we're going to pull our bicep and our tricep over to the elbow joint, punching the elbow joint, and then we're going to go up. And then right about where the brow line is, right about there, that's where that forearm concludes. And then we have our wrist joint, and then of course, we have the hand, right? Some people might be thinking, oh, well, you know, why are you just drawing the mannequin, you know? Um, how come you're not drawing your mannequins with, with fingers and, and uh, you know, getting rid of the actual joints in place of real muscle structure? Well, yes, that that's to come. But the way I see it is if you can't draw this, right, 
then how do you ever expect to draw fingers and to draw you know certain muscle groups and whatnot so give yourself time give yourself grace just have fun just have fun with it that's all we're trying to do And, you know, if you're drawing your mannequin and you're thinking, man, my mannequin just doesn't, I'm not happy with it, right? I'm not satisfied. That's okay. It's okay. Just put the mannequin in a different pose and and draw that one. And just the, the biggest thing that, that'll help you, especially if this is your first time drawing a mannequin or maybe you've tried to tackle human form in the past, but you never had a mannequin to actually um, practice on, then the biggest thing to remember with that is just use a light pressure control for the first few lines that you write down. And then after that, you can go in, use a um, little heavier, little meteor of a pressure control, press a little harder, you know, bring out some line saturation. And that way you can kind of play with form a little bit and you can start to give your mannequin a little bit more of a 3D shape even though it's in two-dimensional space, right? And then you can start playing around with your values, kind of like this, you know? Hatching and cross-hatching and just, yeah, just having fun. Again, these are more just, this is more of a sketch exercise than it is anything else. Like, I don't, I don't want you to think that we're winning any uh, awards or anything here. We're just having fun, so... Okay, and then last, but certainly not least, we're gonna do one more here, one more pose. So we got our circle, I'm gonna do the Loomis, Loomis head. So just like with this last one, put our side ovals here, horizontal plane, hairline, brow line, bottom of the nose, bring that line straight down for the center of the face, bottom of the jaw, we got our top of the jaw here, and then just connect top of jaw to bottom of jaw. Boom. This is about the single easiest way that I have found to be able to draw a head fairly quickly. So, again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but just kind of, we're just gonna beef up the temple planes here mark our brow line and our bottom of our nose and punch in our neck here we go all right so now again once the neck is put in place pull our shoulder line over we have our shoulder joint pull the top of the shoulder line over another shoulder joint and again just like that like if if you make your joint and it's too small just put another line on it it's not a big deal this is, we're just sketching here. We're just having fun. All right. So now this is going to be kind of interesting because our arm, when we look at the reference photo, it's, it's at about a three quarter angle towards us. And then that forearm is actually closer to the viewer than the head is and the shoulder is. So this is where we get to practice elongating our image, right? And this is something that a lot of people struggle with, especially with human form, is that, that it's like perspective. Like you have the hand, let's say, really close to your viewer, but then the face is in, you know, is in the background, almost like a foreground, background type, um, type of deal. And drawing from your mannequin will give you the ability to build up your muscle memory as far as understanding, oh, okay, cool, yeah, that's how I'm gonna, that's how I'm gonna draw out that arm, right? Start from the shoulder joint, go to the elbow joint, and then go to the wrist joint. And don't overthink it. There's no need to overthink it. Overthinking kills the creative process, not just with drawing, but with most all creative approaches. So just be aware of that. same type of deal 
when I was doing research on different ways that you could try to draw the human form, there weren't too many videos on drawing just straight from a mannequin as far as drawing what you see. One of the things that you'll find is that there are main approaches like say, um, there's the Loomis head, right? Well, Loomis also has a way to draw the body. It's actually called the skeleton mannequin or the skeleton figure um, because it's a very minimal um, approach to, um, again, nailing your proportions before you really get involved into the drawing. And then there are a couple others, but for the most part, every artist draws human form differently, right? Which makes sense because we're all subjective in nature we're subjective in how we view the world and we are subjective in how we convey the world onto paper so if you're worried about the fact that maybe you're not drawing the mannequin like a particular uh, method that's been widely accepted in the art community don't worry about that as, as long as it works for you that's the big thing as long as it works for you and you are satisfied with what comes out onto the paper that's all you need. You draw by that principle and you'll be a happy artist. I promise. Yeah, give this guy some abs, why not? Yeah. And then here, just pull this down. Got our joint. Human anatomy is a lot of fun. And we haven't even really begun to touch on the anatomy of the human body as far as like, you know, muscle groups and, you know, tendons. And then, of course, there's the details and all this, that and the other. Right now, we're just focused on proportion. If we can get the proportion of our drawings right, if we can get those solidified, then that's half the battle. So, if you enjoyed this tutorial, remember, I am on Skillshare where I have all of my pet portraits that are step-by-step -step drawing tutorials. I'll have the link to my Skillshare in the description. And then I'm also on Patreon, so if you um, like this video and you want to see more videos like it, be sure to support Mr. Creations there. Until we meet again, stay happy, stay healthy, and remember, never stop drawing.